My name is Yong Zhang. I work for Blue Ocean System. Today, I'm going to talk about the data archive. Uh, the company worked with SAP for a few years. The database size is very large. It will require more resources for the maintenance. It will also affect the system performance. A lot of records in the system will take more time to find the required date, which will influence your work efficiency. Today, my object is to remove transactions and to reduce the size of database in the archive period. It will also keep the database consistency. Before we run the data archive, you need to make sure all the posting period status is locked. Okay, now we can do the procedures. Let's go to the Administration, Utility, and the Data Archive. The wizard will allow you to run the Data Archive step by step. Cluster is a group of transactions linked to each other by business logic. Cluster A is from sales quotation, copied to a sales order, copied to a delivery, and then to an AI invoice. The last end date of AI invoice is in the data archive range. But cluster B, the incoming payment, is out of the data archive range, so cluster B cannot be removed. In the archive method you can choose data archive by financial period or by business partner here i'm going to run the data archive by financial period in the wizard options you can choose run data archive simulation start the data archive run load saved data archive run or search across data archive runs. The simulation will give you a preview of expected results that data archive will be removed and the expected reduction in database size. Start new data archive run. It will do the data archive run. Load Save the data archive run. It saves all the data archive run. If needed, you can view any data archive wizard run that was done in the past and check whether a specific document was archived in a specific run. Search across data archive runs for you to have performed more than one data archive run. If there is a need to locate, lo, lo, locate a certain transaction that has been archived, you can search for it across multiple data archive runs. Here I choose to start new data archive run. Go next. The system will automatically define the, the archive name and the period I would like to choose the end of 2006. You also need to define the direct USD rates. In this example, I'm going to run before 2007 it will take short time if you can uh, set other any times you would like to. Um, but here, to continue with data archiving, you must back up the database. Okay, let's go to the SQL and to take the backup database. Let's 
go back and start new run. On this step 4, sometimes it will take a few minutes for the short period, sometimes it will take several hours for the long period. You can set any other period, but you have to keep at least 2 years transaction according to SAP notes. Uh, in this screen, you will see the data removal recommendation by cluster view. Here we will show you the cluster status. So if checked, so it's this cluster when the transaction can be removed. You can double click each row, it will show you the transaction details for this cluster. Let's double click and it will show you all the transactions for cluster 1. You can see the AI invoice deliveries, sales order, sales quotation, incoming payments, deposit, check and a general entries. And it, you can go next to do the general entries. Here is the general entry compression rules. You can define the parameters for the general entries. So here I can set the 2006 archive. In the step 8, it will show you the expected results. Here it will show you the number of megabytes expected to be removed from your company database. This is will show you the percentage reduction in your database. Also, here will show you the number of removed transactions to this database. Um, the fourth line, it will show you expected reduction in transaction size. The last one, it will show you the percentage of the transaction to be removed for your company database within archive range. Okay, we can go next. Here, the step 9, the progress bar appears, provides you an overview about the incoming progress. So we can click the next and the system will create a read-only database remove transaction data, create a data archive entries, and shrink database and log file. So let's go. After the system creates a read-only backup of database, you can restore this database and then the, the database will show you it's archived and it's read-only database. I'm using the OEC database, it's very small, but if your company database is big, so it will take time. Here also it will show you delete the transactions, shrink the database, shrink the log file and re-index database. Okay, I'm done. Then you can launch the master data cleanup wizard. Go to the data mass data cleanup. It will show you some items and some business partner can be removed or can be inactive. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye.